there is a sense of Vermont. There's no other way to put it. Now, I wouldn't say we know everyone, but uh, it's a real first name basis kind of place. I know there are other places in the country that are, you know, kind of nice to look at, uh, but no place has the natural beauty of Vermont, and it's the working landscape of our dairy farms that, that maintain that beauty. We're a very small uh, electric utility in a very small state, and really have tried to, at every level, say, how can we do this better? How can we do it differently? We're looking, as all Americans are, for uh, alternative energy sources, for uh, energy independence and a chance to, uh, to generate electricity here at home. I think for me personally, it's about the environment. And it's about trying to save our earth for our children. We are very concerned because we live in a beautiful place to keep it a beautiful place. So at a grassroots level, what can we do? Uh, most of the time, our customers have never had a choice as to where their power comes from. Now, they can contribute about 20 bucks extra a month to select renewable energy that's been produced by a neighbor. We're milking about 1,500 cows, and we do it three times a day. Cow power is taking the manure from our cows and turning it into electricity. It's a never-ending source of power, so it's renewable energy in the best form. We take the manure, and instead of going into our lagoon, which it used to do, it now goes into a concrete bunker under the ground, which is the digester. It's going to stay there for about 21 days, and it's going to go to the temperature of about 100, 101 degrees. And during that time, the gases that would come off the manure anyway, if it was sitting in our lagoon, they're collected, and they're put through the generators which power the electricity that goes out on the lines. The potential for that gas to create energy is about 3.5 million kilowatt hours a year. Our average customer uses about 6,000 kilowatt hours a year. So we're talking many hundreds of homes. This, this particular facility has the ability to power. And on a farm this size, 300,000 kilowatt hours a month, 10 cents a kilowatt hour, that's an extra $30,000 coming back to this farm. Milk prices are up and down and all over the place. And I think a lot of farms are looking at, we want to stay in farming, we're committed. We have land we want to keep open. Uh, we love the animals. But how can we make our farm better on the economic side of it? Many smaller farms have been closing. This is a new opportunity to be more efficient. And they not only use the manure in the production of cow power, but they, they produce uh, byproducts, which are also very helpful in the barns. The manure gets pumped out of the digester, and the solids get dropped onto a conveyor belt. The solids get turned into bedding, which our cows are using to sleep with rather than the sawdust we used to purchase. They no longer have to go out to the market and buy sawdust, which is increasingly more expensive. Last year's expense was over $120,000 just for the bedding for the cows. So those kinds of savings and the fact that you might be able to resell some of this compost and the fact that you'll be getting an electric check, it does help because you're diversifying your income on your farm. Real concerned about the farm landscape of the state of Vermont. Um, tourism is a big uh, dollar for us and, and we count on that. Our farm produces uh, 10 million gallons of waste a year. That's a lot of manure. The, the odor is horrendous. You can't expect someone coming up here from Manhattan to find it pleasant. It's not pleasant. The cow power gives us an opportunity to contain that, uh, to improve the water quality of our state that's so important to our quality of life and, and also to our economy. 95% of the smell is pulled off during this process. And in the summertime, July 4th weekend, as we're spreading near the neighbors, you know, uh, I can't help but think that we might be more popular on a chicken barbecue day. Sometimes it takes a little bit more on certain farms that aren't as close to our big distribution systems. And sometimes we'll build as far as three or four miles to connect their generators to our customers. Cow Power, we had to upgrade our lines from a, a single phase line to a three phase line. We did build all new lines, which consisted of about 84 poles, uh, three and a half miles of lines. It was a big project. Uh, it was a good project. It was a cold project, um, but it, it's, uh, you know, it's good to see the finished product. It's unique in that we've created a new business model. We found a way to connect 
both the supply side that's being produced by the farmers with the demand side. Nobody believed that customers would pay an extra four cents for every kilowatt hour to select renewable energy in Vermont. The good news right now is that our demand is exceeding our supply. People were signing up at an accelerated rate and we are really leading the pack and other places are starting to notice. Newberry Gold Store, this is Maggie. We purchase through this store 50% of our power through the Cow Power program. We have um, pamphlets that we've been given by CVPS to give people and they're right by our cash register so we hand them out. But mostly we just say why we did it. We were first made aware of this particular program in a newspaper article and both my wife Maggie and myself looked at one another and said this is perfect. We believe in renewable energy and we believe in supporting the environment and we also believe in community. We teach kids, we are educators. Green Mountain is known as an environmental liberal arts college and we are trying to serve as an example not only to our students but to the outside world. The amount of cow power that we're purchasing will be the equivalent of taking 758 cars off the streets. That is a good thing for society. We're very fortunate to have an entrepreneurial power company right here in Vermont. Our interest in the environment was more than matched by CVPS. I'm proud of the fact that this is an idea that Vermonters have uh, taken to a very exciting level. Almost every state is trying to promote more renewable resources. It's a model for helping the world community and we think the timing is right. So even if we can't get money for our milk, we're going to get money for their manure and that means we need to take good care of them and give them lots to eat and just keep that, that end rolling. I think it's a leadership in the power industry of doing the right thing. It allows us to buy renewable energy, to save our environment, to help our children, to be an example to others um, that we at a grassroots level can make a difference.